Hello everyone, it's the Farmsome Guy here, hope you're all doing well. Now with the release of Creative Mesh's emergency pack the other week, there has been the shouts from the US community for some US fire trucks. Now of course Creative Mesh coming from Europe and Giants being a German manufacturer, of course they went with European uh, fire trucks. I don't blame them, that's of course what they were going to do. But the way that Creative Mesh built the emergency pack meant that it could be adapted and added to other people's mods and that is exactly what wood meadow farm modding brt designs has done look at that we've got an emergency straight away i'm going to cancel that for now um they have added the emergency pack functionality to all of their fire trucks now when i say all i have got a collection here <laughs> But it is only a fraction. There is a fantastic set of mods here that all work brilliantly with the emergency pack. Now, I'm going to put a link to their website in the description to this vid, um, and you can go and collect. And you want to go and check some of these mods out as well. There is a real good selection of mods, not just the fire trucks, but a lot of other stuff as well. And they are really, really great. Now, remember, please download from their original website. Don't go and get them from third party sites. So at least you know you're getting the original and the correct versions as well. But let's have a look at some of these, I think, really, really great mods. Just a couple of things to bear in mind as well. This is, of course, only a PC mod, unfortunately. Sorry, console players. And the other thing you need to make sure you do is make sure you switch on the emergency pack when you load in your mods, or you'll just get some nice fire trucks that have sirens and lights, but they won't work in terms of the scenarios. Now, before I jump in and have a look at these mods, I just want to caveat this because I know there are some grumbles in the community from certain areas that say fire trucks, they're nothing to do with farming. Do you know what? As far as I'm concerned, it doesn't matter. There are mods out there for everybody. We have literally tens of thousands of mods between the mod hub and third party mods that aren't on the mod hub that are shared on Facebook, on itch.io sites and so on and so forth that we can download. So whatever your game preference is, play the way you want to play. This is a sandbox game. We can do what we want with it. And that is that is the joy of farming simulators. So don't get angry because you see something that you don't think should belong in the game. Just ignore it. Move on. Play with the mods that you want to play with. Let the people who want to play with the mods they want to play with do the same. Simple as that. Right, I collected all these together for my thumbnail. So we'll have a quick, there's a couple of Maybury fire engines here. Uh, one with the big ladder on, one with just a small ladder down the side. We've got a couple of rescue trucks. We've got some old Mack fire trucks, a nice uh, articulated ladder there, and a rescue engine there as well. And around here, some more heavy duty rescue equipment as well. Now, what WFM have done is a really nice uh, thing where they've not put all of the functionality in. So, for example, this big rescue truck here that doesn't have ladders on it means you can't do some of the uh, missions with it, which is like, so you can't rescue a cat from up a tree with this mod because it's not quite right. Whereas the big ladder here, you can get your uh, cat from a tree with. So, um, Really nice mods, actually, from the outside. I'm not sure if they're from another game or they've been created specifically. Uh, but they look really, really good. And um, all the lights work, as you can see. And if I jump in as well... We've got some nice sirens as well. So you can hear those. Uh, if I jump out of there as well... We jump into the uh, the truck here slightly different siren on that one which is nice and I think there's probably nothing more for us to do than it well in fact there is let me jump into here first and show you some of the functionality wrong one there we go now I should say while we uh, just move that one out um, there are two versions of a fire station as well these come up with um, this one five base which you can roll your stuff in from the back and get them nicely lined up or this three bay version slightly smaller um this one doesn't have doors at the back so you have to reverse your engines in but in principle two nice options for you depending on how you want to play um we've also got this as well 
this Yukon XL uh, police truck, which we'll come and have a look at in the end. And, and like I said, this isn't all of the stuff that's on his website. Well worth going and checking that out. I've just grabbed a selection here to give you a little bit of a demo. Now I've just rolled this truck out so I can show you what happens uh, with some of the controls on this. So you've got two control groups. You've got control group one for the jacks. And if I press G as if I was switching between tractor and implement, I've got control group two, which is the ladders. So um, control group one, as you can see here, if I can raise and lower them, you see those rear jacks there going down. There we go, and again, you can do the same with the front jacks as well, and going down as well. Uh, and then if I press control group two, which is basically pressing G again, I have backwards and forwards on the mouse. We'll raise and lower the ladder, and left and right will rotate it. Um, if I press both buttons together, that extends your ladder by moving left and right. You can see that, so you can see, Let's see how far this goes actually. It's a long, long ladder. There we go. So you get get an idea for how much how much ladder you've got there. Quite a lot. Very nice. So there you go. Now I do believe as well, if I press C, you've got a couple of camera options here, including one in the basket at the top. So, very nice. Well thought through. Right, now I'm going to use this one because it has got the ladders on and it has got uh, the rescue equipment on. It's the most complete fire engine a lot, so um, we shall go and do a scenario, shall we? Let's see what we get first up. Straw bale fire. Right, let's go get it. So we're up here. There is a straw bale fire down near field 71. Let's get the sirens on. Let's go get it. So here we are, there is our burning bale, so let's just roll up close and get into action. I'm going to turn the siren off because that is rather loud, but there we go. Let's get our bale put out as quickly as we can and we'll move on. There we go, bail is out. We have a thousand pounds back in the bank account and we can head off to our next mission. Right, we're about to arrive at our next incident now, which is a car accident. So again, let us demonstrate what we need to do here. So we'll stop here. We'll jump out, in fact. Let's turn that siren off because it is loud. And we can go to our tarp over here and get started. Right, let's get our cones out. Two, three. Oh, there's impatient drivers here beeping the horn. Clearly they can see there's a car accident. Last cone out. Right, head back to the tarp, pick up our next thing, which is our mounting blocks that go under here for safety. I think there's... Probably another one around here too. Yep. Not close enough. There we go. Okay, jaws of life. Get those out. Open those up. One door off. We can lift and shift that, I think. Yep, out of the way. Same with this one. There we go. Door number two, it's already telling us what to do next, but let's move that out of the way for safety. And I think, yep, yeah, there we go, our backboard mission completed. There we go, 2,657 into the bank, and we are done. So there you go, uh, just a little bit of proof that it works incredibly well with the rescue pack. Um, and I have to say, these are really nice mods. So. If you're into your role-playing, if you're into something that gives you a little bit of variety in your gameplay, or you just like playing around with fire trucks, it is a, a fantastic collection 
of uh, mods here from Wood Meadow Farm modding. Uh, really, really like these. Let's head back to the yard. Let's have a look at a couple of the other ones in a little bit more detail, shall we? So there we go, back at the ranch here. Let's just have a look at the ones I've downloaded. Like I said, as you saw from the website earlier on, way more than this to download. Uh, you've got choices of not just fire engines, but you've got uh, ambulances and police cars as well. So let's jump in and have a look. So you can find all of the fire engines over here in trucks. So there you go. There is your F550 Super Duty rescue truck. Uh, you've got the option to change all of the colours, so you don't even need to have it as a fire truck. You could have it as a rescue truck. Maybe that's a forestry type rescue truck or something like that. Um, really nice. Lots of options in here. I mean, you can go crazy if you want, if you really want to. Uh, so nice to see that. Not much else in the way of customization, but uh, fifty-six thousand pounds and dollars or euros. Uh, and then you've got some of the slightly older Mac fire trucks. These are quite nice. Again, a um, few options with the lights to choose from. Um, and again, the same color options as you had in the last one. The Tiller truck, which is the other Mac. Um, this is the one with the uh, her fifth wheel at the back. Uh, again, same options as you had on the other one. And then at the back there, you've got the trailer that goes with it. Slightly different mods. These don't look as detailed as uh, the other ones that we were just playing with. So we're uh, slightly different. But again, all your color options here again. And then the sea graves. These are the ones which I think are slightly more detailed mods, but very nicely done indeed. Um, there you go. That is, look, <laughs> we're still getting prompted for emergencies. So there is your fire truck with a small ladder on the side. Um, very nicely done. Again, all the colour options that we saw before. 56,000 again. Um, and then your tower ladder, which is one we were just playing with, um, which I think could be my favourite of the ones I've downloaded. Really like this. Um, lovely detail on it. And um, all the colours as the only option. 56,000 again. So not much variety in the pricing, but... Um, like I said, I don't think you're really worrying about the price of these. This is about playability and um, doing role play and stuff like that. But uh, very nice indeed. Uh, the cop car that I downloaded, there it is, the Yukon. Again, nice model. Um, and what I like about this, I mean, you've got a few options here. So you've got blue or red or red blue lights, amber lights if you want them. Um, you've got a light bar at the top. You can have it without or with uh, interior lights as well, sitting in front of the uh, windscreen there, which again, I'll show you when we turn this on afterwards. Sheriff, you can have a fire rescue truck, no logo at all, or back to Sheriff. So again, if you want the fire rescue truck, you can then change the color of it to this. There you go, options there. Uh, very nicely done indeed. Um, so let's just jump out again, because what I really like about this, is the amount of lights on it. It's off the charts with this. Check this out. Ready? Look at that! And it's got a good siren as well. We've just got the blue lights on there, but you obviously can mix those up. You can have red and blue if you want, or orange if you wanted as well. But I really like that. Very cool. So there you go, a very quick look at some of Wood Meadow Farm Modding's brilliant fire trucks. Again, like I said, if they're not for you, don't worry about it. But the people, if they are for you, check these out because they're awesome. Anyway, on that note, thank you very much for watching. I hope you find some use for these. They're really good fun. And uh, I will see you all again very soon. Take care. Bye for now.